Highly gifted, my jacket's thrifted. Watch me get a pattern shifted, just acting different. Living in my minutes, I'm catalytic. That's why they love to jack the style like it's on a civic. When we speak about assessments, they're, they're scary and nobody wants to talk about them. And why would we have a whole episode about them? I've done my undergrad, I've done my postgrad, and I'm currently doing my PhD. And the one thing I wish I could do is go back to undergrad and take assessments seriously. And I wish I actually use them for their purpose. I wish I made them work for me. That is what this episode is all about. They designed specifically to work for you. So have a listen, have a watch. You're going to see the value in assessments. Stay tuned. So over the last while, we've been speaking about something we don't want to speak about as students, uh, but they are important. And I, and I want to sort of spend a little bit of time unpacking these. And I think uh, again, when we speak about being future ready, it's really important that we have this conversation about these particular things. And these are assessments, like exams, right? And I think at, at school level, we all know what they are. Uh, but here we've started to use a slightly different language. So I've heard you use the language of formative. I've heard you use the language of summative. I've heard this language of supplementary. Can you unpack a little bit what a formative assessment is, what a summative assessment is? And then we're going to speak about supplementaries in a moment. But let's first go through what is a formative and a summative assessment. Okay, so I don't like exams. <laughs> <laughs> no one does? <laughs> no, okay, so, sure. so, so on the more serious side. So assessments is basically the wrapper to describe all the variety and timings of um, examination events. Examination events, all the projects, sit down exams, closed book exams, open exams, assignments, okay. um, creating craft pieces as evidence um, of mastery of the subject matter. So, so assessments is kind of that wrapper. Okay. And that, that splits out into a variety um, as applied inside a module. So, um, the first breakout is there's formative assessment and summative assessment. Okay. And on top of that, there's also a breakout, which is informal assessment and formal assessment right. for each of these. Okay. So an informal assessment is simply to say it's not meant as high stakes. And when we say not meant as high stakes, this is not necessarily going to attract a grade. Cool. that will be weighted, that will impact your overall result. Okay. This is simply, call it a trial and error. Sure. Let's, let, 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 let's mimic the scenario, mimic the assessment event, m mimic the exercise, or the exercise mimics um, an element, um, and you simply undertake it or participate in it. And w what's beautiful about for informal formatives, right. they assist you to gauge where you're at yeah. in the course of the 14, 15 week cycle. Right. What have you mastered or not mastered? Or what needs sure. a bit more attention or a bit more refinement or a bit more going back and re-reviewing or reaching out again to the educator to say, assist me a bit more. And informal assessment moments also come in a variety of mannerisms or typologies. They can be simple um, self-assessment exercises. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's questions with answers, model right. answers, or questions without model answers. Sure. It could be multiple choice questions. It could be long form, short form questions. Right. It could be calculations. Um, sure. It could also um, be, on the summative end, um, a sample um, exam paper. Okay. So the sample exam paper that you hide, the memo, from yep. yourself first, yep. uh, um, mimic the scenario, take, prepare, take three hours, you know, undergo the paper, um, grade yourself. That's an informal summative moment because it's not going you don't get a mark for it and mark to you. and it, okay. it influences your overall sure. all result. I wanted to ask just in those informal ones, are these often also seen as opportunities for teaching and learning in them of themselves? Yes. Um, okay. So 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 so, so it's a. It's also, it, it also is a, it's a cue for the individual, you as the student, yeah. to say, I need to undergo a bit more learning, or I need some further instruction or support from the educator. So, sure. so it can be used as the individual for the trigger, mm. or the system can set up an informal moment, yes. like a weekly teaching and an actual weekly yes. teaching and learning element that's loaded. You, under, you undergo it, we see the result, and we reach out to you. Or right. we see the result across 10 students and we realize 
part two or part B, um, it's not so clear, even though it was well framed, let's make a further intervention sure. with, with those 10 students with some further elucidation, yeah. short video clip or further yeah. notes. So, yeah. so it can be used in, in a variety of ways. And then, what, I mean, sorry, as a student, yeah. why I want to do that is for all of those these reasons that you've just laid yes. out, right? So you really actually want to do them. Because yes, yes, they're, absolutely. They're so important to check where you are, to your yes. point, or to figure out what it is that you're being asked. Yes. You know, so to go and research it and find it and bring it and gain that knowledge. And then to, to your point, as a yardstick of where I'm at, what I need, what I don't need. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. It's a, it's a good barometer, um, yeah. so to speak. <clears throat> in, in our... Preceding discussions where we mentioned dedicate around eight hours a week for that 15-week yeah. cycle to a module. In that eight hours, so, so it, I, I could have come across that the intention might be that you need to have your nose in the textbook for eight hours. That's not the meaning. The meaning right. is that eight hours, according to the teaching plan we provide you, will, will highlight two hours on video material. Two hours on reading the text. Yeah. I'm just using sure, sure, examples sure. on what portions of the text. One hour in the library on what element of text. And, for example, it provides a space there to say, contact the lecturer. Sure. For certain so, again, if you're, not, if you're above average in that moment, you won't need all of that. You'll, sure. you'll simply cycle through it. Sure. But it also provides time for informal and formal assessments. Nice. Okay. There's an indicator in the teaching plan in the week which informal assessments we would like you to participate. Right. So, so it's all part of the eight-hour allocation. So just... just Sure. So that's, you know, yeah, that's a, it's <laughs> nice, right? Because you, you're adding on these things. You're thinking, the, geez, this thing is now a 16-hour project. Yeah. Sure. No, no, it's, sure. the, it, it's, sure. it's back to the notion of the, the 120 credits, which is 1,200 hours, which is 600 for the full-time student on a semester basis. It's total time on task. Yeah. All the volume, all the reading, all the activities, all the attend, at, at, um, attending to elements, yeah. all of that is computed. Okay. Um, so that you've spent that amount of time. And again, the stronger student will spend less in certain yeah. moments. In other moments, they'll use more from where they did not, as a, sure. as a way of example. Um, so back to the assessment. So, yeah. so we've spoken about the informal elements. So the formal elements, um, the, the formal elements, the typologies also represent themselves as assignments. Um, as long or short form research pieces or, or, or questions, um, a smaller project or an element to a project or a build up to a bigger project where it's the first stage element right. um, or an or a element of a, of a, from a craft, you're, you're creating a small um, advertorial by way of example or a class test. Um, sure. it, it could be any of those forms. And then on the summative side, um, again, the typology will, will be in line with where it's situated in the semester, being summative. Um, it could be a research piece, or it could be a, a long, longer research piece that we were informed earlier in the semester to start working on that becomes due, or a shorter research piece that, that you don't, that you could have started later in the semester mm. because certain learning was necessitated. It could be an exam. It could be an open book exam. It could right. be a closed book exam. Right. Um, so, so there's... there's there's different typologies that, sure. that, that are at play. And then the decision is also made around volume of assessments. Okay. So, so there's complexity, but assessments will, complexity will mimic um, the level of the module on the NQF ladder. Okay. Um, there's, a, there's a complexity, that's, and a complexity that's required, there's also a complexity from the subject matter at sure. hand, because the subject matter has its own um, 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 ontology in terms of how complex, yep. and what volume and what rate are we teaching, for what purpose sure. next to it. So by way of example, if you're going to proceed from analyzing one to analyzing two to analyzing three, then analyzing one is going to have a different demand of you yep. versus where you're versus where you're going to only use analyzing one as a stopgap module to enrich a broader program. So, so that influences sure. um, um, syllabi decisions and curriculum and assessments and the volume also of assessments. And by volume, I mean. Do we decide there's two formatives and one summative? Do we decide there's two formatives and two types of summatives? Right. 
or do we decide there's one formative and one summative, or one formative and two summative types of summative? So th th those decisions, um, the curriculum and the syllabi influence um, making those. But the intervals at where they appear in the semester is fixed throughout all modules. Okay. So we create assessment, what we call in that 15-week space, assessment windows. Right. So if there is an assessment, it will be due in that period. The teaching plan will indicate. Sure. If there's no assessment due, then that's then just a natural break for you to either make up or, or just take a small break and then proceed on to the next half of the semester. Right. So there's these windows so that that creates in itself a broader pattern. If you're enrolled right. for three or four modules, Very you nice. know uh, the certain weeks are dedicated to assessments, to right. you going through s informal um, uh, formatives, sure. for example, exes the exercises, um, the samples, and then undertaking um, the formal event and completing it. So, and then there's a then there's a, uh, an additional layer which is called um, weightings. Yes. So that was uh, my next question. Uh, so thank uh, you. So ordinarily, <laughs> <laughs> so so ordinarily, a final grade is required, and let's just call it the final grade of fifty percent to pass a module. Right. So. If there's one formative and one summative, a decision will be made that the summative is, say, 50% of the 50%. Sure. I'm, I'm just using an example. And yep. the, 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 format, the formative sum is 50-50 equal. Sure. And if you score 100%, 100%, you'll have 100%. If you do nothing, the formative, and you score 50% in the summative, you'll have 25%. 25%. So you'll fail the module. Hence, why it's key to participate in formatives, because they, they weight it. They contribute. They send signals to you and to us about your learning journey yeah. um, and, and it builds up confidence and grades towards the end of the semester in order for the summative events mm -hmm. not to be so high stakes that yes. your whole life has come down to, um, that your whole life should not come down to yeah. what's going to happen in the next three hours. Yeah. By way of example, yeah, you've yeah. built up a grade, you've worked. So if it doesn't go too well, for whatever reasons, it's okay. Sure. Um, and, and that you don't come into the moment with unnecessary anxiety yeah. um, and or choose to not approach anxiety and not even participate sure. because it's now this, this event. Okay, there is so much to unpack here that we're actually going to take this conversation on to episode 16. We're going to keep on speaking about how assessments can be your allies. So stay tuned. Thank you.